What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit, this is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash am I the butthole? Alrighty, this story is called, Ada for pretending to get fired when customers get a temper with me. I am a high schooler with a weekend job at a coffee shop. My coworkers who work weekends are, James, the owner's son, he goes to my school. He's a shift manager, but it's not a real formal thing. He's a friendly guy. Danielle, a college student who sometimes works weekends too. So sometimes customers will come in and just be angry about such little stuff, like literally blow up about nothing. I don't know if they're in a bad mood already and looking for someone to take it out on or what, but it's a lot. Like, how sad do you have to be to be a grown-ass man taking your anger out on high school and college kids? So James and I were joking about having a little fun with them and hopefully getting them off our backs. So one day I was at work and some guy was having a temper about how we don't make the coffee hot enough, which I couldn't do a thing about because I gave it to him right out of the machine. So James came in and was like, Sir, is there a problem here? And the guy started ranting at him too. So he was just like, OP, this is unacceptable. You're fired. I started acting real sad like, oh, please don't fire me. My, my family needs the money. I need this job, please. And he played up being a hard ass, telling me to take off my apron and leave. The angry guy started to backtrack like, it wasn't that big of an, a problem. You don't need to fire her over it. I didn't mean it. And James was like, no, we pride ourselves on the best customer service. Of course, after all that drama, I still had my job. We were just acting. And we've done it a couple of times. Whenever a customer will lose their temper at Danielle or I, James will storm in and fire us. And almost every time, the person who had come in angry will apologize and say that they didn't mean it. It's kind of satisfying, making people realize their actions might actually have consequences. Anyway, I was telling my friends from school about this, and a few of them thought it was a mean prank to let someone go away thinking they'd gotten someone who desperately needs the money fired. Am I the dookie sphincter for this joke? This story's called, Ada for making a dad joke. Note, my stepdaughter, Madeline, was about a year old when I married her mother, Jessica. Madeline's father died before she was born. Madeline is currently 15 and she's rebelling for almost everything. She did something bad, so while picking her up, I set a punishment up for her. Then she said, you're not my dad, I don't have to follow you. Honestly, I got a bit hurt from that. But I understand that she didn't mean it and that she'd probably change. I just replied, I'm still your legal guardian for the next three years years, and as long as you're in my house, you have to follow my rules. That happened about two days ago. So our family was going grocery shopping when Madeline said, I'm hungry, I need food. I decided to be extremely cheeky and said, Hi hungry, I'm not your dad. My son just started to laugh uncontrollably. My daughter was just quiet with embarrassment and my wife was berating me, not to stoop down to her level. I honestly thought it was a funny dad joke and my son agrees, so Ada? Edit. I did adopt her, so legally I am her parent. Many updates, I'll probably give a full update later, but here is what happened so far. I go to my daughter's room after dinner and begin talking with her. Hey, I'm really sorry that I hurt you by the words I said, and I am really your dad. I changed your diapers, I met your boyfriend, and I plan on helping you through college. And plus, I'm legally your dad, so we're stuck together. But seriously, I'm going to love you like my daughter, even if you don't think I'm your dad. Then I hugged her. She did start to cry. I assume that's good. This story's called, Ada for telling my extended family how many men, roughly, my sister has slept with after she outed our youngest brother as a virgin? We had a family dinner this evening. My family has four kids in total. My elder sister, 29 female, my younger sister, 24 female, and my youngest brother, 22 male. Extended family attended our family dinner, so all of our significant others, our cousins, aunts and uncles, etc. During the dinner, my elder sister and youngest brother got into a mild disagreement. My sister seemed, at least to me, to be coming across as very aggressive out of frustration and losing said arguments. The two of them were too absorbed in their arguments to realize the rest of us were getting a bit fed up. Eventually, my sister got fed up and said, shut up, I'm not gonna argue with a 22-year-old virgin. My brother hadn't done any personal attacks up until that point. 
It was completely unprovoked. I think it might have been the alcohol as my sister is a mean drunk. Anyway, I immediately told my sister to grow up and that she was making an embarrassment of herself. She replied by saying everyone knows he's a virgin and she didn't say anything wrong. This annoyed me as my bro definitely has confidence issues and doesn't need to be made fun of like this. So I responded by saying how she slept with well over a hundred men while she was in college and that since everyone in the family knows this, it's not a big deal, right? Turns out her husband didn't know this amazingly. I genuinely assumed he must have known. He left the party angrily, saying my sister misled him about her past. Family is blaming me about their marital problems. I refuse to accept I did anything wrong. My sister bullied my brother in front of everyone. All I did was give her a taste of her own medicine. Ada for suggesting my seven-year-old name is new stuffed tiger Tig Biddies? Pretty much the title. My son won a stuffed tiger at the fair last night and said he had named him Tig. He asked me what its last name should be. I couldn't help myself and just instantly replied Biddies. Then I turned to my wife to share a smirk, but she was pissed and quickly suggested a few different last names. But my son insisted he liked Biddies, so now his tiger is Tig Biddies. My wife thinks it was completely inappropriate. I think it was a silly joke that went over his head and will have no negative ramifications. Time for segment, am I the apple? Uh, no, you're not the apple here. This story is called Webta or Would I Be the Apple for Refusing to Stop Cooking Bacon in My Kitchen Due to My Teenage Daughter's Vegan Lifestyle. Dad here, old fart, loves his daughter to pieces, but I'm struggling to see eye to eye with my teenager and wife on this one. We've always been a meat-eating family. We live in the rural Midwest and bacon for breakfast is pretty much a given. This year, my 14-year-old daughter decided to go vegan and I jumped onto her support team with enthusiasm. We learned how to substitute ingredients, cook new things, try new things. I adjusted our budget to include more expensive vegan substitutes for her, etc. None of this has been a problem for me until recently. She saw me cook bacon in a pan and then rinsed it out to load in the dishwasher. She exploded in anger, teen years, I'm not too fussed about the anger explosion, I know she doesn't mean it, and said that was her pan for vegan food. I was completely floored and said, kiddo, this here is a family pan older than you it's not your pan she asked me to purchase her a pan that she can solely use for vegan food i didn't want her to feel weird about food so i said sure and ordered her a few colored ones that are only for her the reason they're colored is so it helps me remember that I'm not to touch them unless I'm cooking vegan. This wasn't good enough. Now apparently the dishwasher is contaminated with animal product and the fridge has bacon grease fingers on it because I eat bacon and then touch the fridge. And she's asked me to completely stop eating meats at home. I don't mean I literally touch the fridge with greasy bacon hands because I wash my hands, but it's clearly enough that it upsets my daughter. Frankly, I'm on team hell no. Her mom is much more amenable and strongly wants me to consider taking our daughter up on the request. My wife's reasoning is that both our parents live close so we can eat meat products there and that she doesn't want our daughter to feel uncomfortable in the kitchen. My daughter says she is fine with cheese and butter in the fridge, but it's specifically meat products that make her feel sick. Now, I'm sorry for her, but I feel like she just needs to adapt and live side by side because I'm not going to stop eating bacon in my own house. This story's called Ada for wearing the joke bikini my friend got me. So it was my birthday a couple months ago, had a party, got some gifts. My friend Mandy for me, a super cute bikini. I liked it, said thanks. She had ripped the tags off, but whatever. Anyway, went to the community pool with my roommate, wore bikini, got in the water. Roommate immediately is like, um, a girl. I look and see that this bikini is now kinda see-through. Ha ha, good joke, Mandy. And Anyway, Mandy invited me over to her place to hang out with her and her boyfriend and a few others. Most leave and we're still hanging out. I'm like, hey, what if we get in your hot tub? I go change after them and meet her boyfriend in the hot tub. She's getting new drinks. I hop in. Immediately, he's looking at my chest. I pretend not to notice and just make small talk. She comes out a few minutes later and just looks in shock. Eventually gets in. Uh, is that the one I bought? Yeah, I love it. I wear it everywhere. Make up some stuff about how I wore it to the beach, some party with lots of guys, etc. And she's just like, oh, we're in the hot tub for 20 to 30. Eventually get out and change 
strange. She approached me after and was like, Um, I'm sorry, I thought you'd notice, but it goes kind of see-through. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Why'd you buy me a freaking see-through bathing suit? She's like, it's a joke. Wait, you knew? So you just spent the last 30 minutes flashing my boyfriend on purpose? I reply, I'm just wearing my birthday gift from her. Anyway, Ada? So am I the apple? Um, no, no, you're not. Well, yes, uh, I, I would have suggested to pick a different bikini. However, it's not your responsibility what her boyfriend looks at. But then again, you are kind of going nakey nakey in front of another woman's man. Huh. Honestly, this, it depends on what your intentions were. If your intentions were to just wear the bikini and that's it because you're just wearing a bikini and I bet that's all it was and not some sort of ploy to make your friend jealous or something because that would be kind of screwy. However, your friend did buy you a see-through bikini as a joke, so she must know that you are comfortable in your skin and so you're not too ashamed of public partial nudity or something, I don't know. So yeah, you're, you're good. You're in the clear. What do y'all think? This story's called Ada for telling my son he deserved his girlfriend breaking up with him. So my son had a long distance girlfriend recently for about two years. She was great, a really nice girl and we all loved her, welcomed her with open arms. She was flying here constantly to visit him, like a weekend a month and he didn't lift a finger to go visit her. I tried talking to him about it several times and told him he should really start looking into flying over to her instead of expecting her to do all the traveling. He said no. And my wife probably had something to do with it as she constantly told him she was afraid of him flying. I spoke to them both and said this girl is great for him. She was willing to move over to our country too, but said there was one condition. And that was he'd have to fly over to her country too, which is fair enough. He said no, he didn't want to fly or travel anywhere. My son was becoming lazier and lazier, eventually telling his girlfriend and us that he was perfectly fine never traveling anywhere, including holidays, etc. Last week, he told us she's dumped him. I went on her Facebook page, as we're all still friends. She wrote us an apology letter about how she's upset it didn't work out, but these things happen, so we're on good terms. And looks like she's with a new guy already. Me and my wife have no doubt she was seeing him while still in a relationship with my son. I confess to them both that I actually agree with her decision and he should have expected it. He did not treat her properly and I hope he learns his lesson for the next one because he needs to make more of an effort. I said he deserves it for lack of effort in the relationship and for essentially just allowing this girl to spend all her money and time coming here all the time. Wife and son are very upset that I said this. Very, very upset and my wife says I am being horrible. Ada, I stand by what I said. This story's called Ada for sleeping naked on top of the covers to teach my flatmate's girlfriend a lesson. New to Reddit, please bear with. So I, 21 guy, live with my childhood best friend, 22 also a guy, and have for two years now. Up until last week, things were perfect between us. However, he recently got a new girlfriend, 23, lady, I assume so, and she honestly seems absolutely great, except for one thing. She has a complete aversion to knocking. She and I have quite a lot in common, and I actually like spending time with her. However, it bugs the hell out of me when she just barges into my room without knocking first. Now, she's never walked in on me doing anything untoward. I'm usually just chilling on my bed or studying at my desk. However, on at least seven separate occasions now, she's done it first thing in the morning to ask if I want coffee. I sleep naked. Every time prior to the last one, I've been under the covers and she hasn't seen anything. I always point out that she could have and she just giggles and says, but I didn't. When she stayed over last week, in order to make my point, I intentionally slept on top of the covers. Sure enough, she barges in at 7am, begins to ask if I want coffee, and sees my you know what. She immediately backed out of the room and didn't speak to me for the rest of the day. My mate later pulled me aside and said I was bang out of order, accused me of deliberately exposing myself and pointed out that I'd threatened to do it before. I literally just said, okay, but what if I had no covers and you saw everything before? They're now framing this to others that I'm some sick creep who intentionally got naked and lay in wait of her because that's how I get my rocks off. And I'm kind of seeing how it came off that way. Ada for doing this? Um, no, you're not the apple. 
as long as you're being honest with your intentions, and that was just to make sure that she learns her lesson that she needs to knock, because honestly, she was at a lie. Like, he did nothing wrong here. Obviously, uh, being nude in front of your man's girl is, is not the ideal thing to do. However, come on, he's warned her that it could happen. Ada for telling the girl who kissed my boyfriend for a play that she is desperate and pathetic. I, 19 female, study drama at uni, and my boyfriend is on the same course. My boyfriend is a really good looking guy, but he doesn't seem to know it. He gets a lot of attention from girls, and for the most part, doesn't seem to get that they're flirting with him. I'm not generally annoyed by this and never really say anything. However, there's one girl in our class, let's call her Victoria, who is obsessed with my my boyfriend. She goes out of her way to be paired with him in group activities. For example, if the professor picks groups by numbering us 1, 2, 3, she will move herself to be in the same number as him. And she recently stepped down from a main role in the play that we were doing so she could be in a more minor one, simply because this character has a romance with my boyfriend. I know this is the case because I've heard her say to her friends that she thinks he's hot and whatnot. I've never said anything to her about it because she seems pretty insecure, always complaining about how she thinks she's ugly, and I don't see it as a big deal because my boyfriend doesn't care. However, we recently performed the play and had a small after party where she got slightly drunk and was bragging about how she definitely felt something when they kissed in the play, and she's going to ask him if he felt the same. I rolled my eyes and again ignored it until she actually went up to my boyfriend. She was a little bit drunk and when she went up to him, I was there too. Victoria started saying that she knows he must have felt a spark, he's a really good kisser, etc. I snapped and sort of shouted at her that, you sound incredibly desperate going after somebody else's boyfriend. You're pathetic if you think a stage kiss means you should be together. She looked super embarrassed and walked away and I later heard that she'd gone home crying. I feel like a, a schlong because she's obviously insecure and whatnot, and her friends have stopped calling me a bit since. Am I the apple? Edit, she 100% knows that I am his girlfriend. I have heard her talking about me being his girlfriend before. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.